I coached Martin Gooden with a very short video. This one's to do with something that really bugs and really kind of does upset me in a way that it don't upset me because I don't make it happen, that's one. And two, it upsets me sometimes when speaking to other uh, personal trainers who talk about the problems what they have with telling people how much to charge and then getting um, some resistance on the price of what they're doing it for. Um, and this is something what I've experienced when I started my personal training business, okay, many years ago. How uh, the people what are meant to support you just basically want to go the whole time looking at deals from you, not realizing that you're actually trying to run a business which will better your life, okay, and increase obviously the amount of money and income what you can make doing something what you love. So what you generally find is that people from the past used to want to get deals. Some of the guys what I speak to now what make this happen um, have a price and then obviously lower their price just to accommodate somebody for the case of making a little bit of money rather than getting their true value of what they actually charge. Now for me personally value is in what I charge. You know I've studied a lot I've been mentored with some of the people I think are some of the best at what they do. I'm continuously learning what I do, continuously looking at ways to add value to my clients' experience with me. Okay, I not only the results, but obviously the information what I give them, the motivation, the mindset stuff what I do with them, as well as the physical aspect and the nutritional side. That takes a lot of learning. It takes a lot of skill to deliver to the individual because there's different people in different places, different people also what um, need different knowledge sets. Some have high knowledge sets, some have low knowledge sets, but whatever the set they're at, you still have to deliver something what they understand and will help them move forward and get them results what they're looking for. So, how can you haggle over price? To me, it's not negotiable. Okay, I have a product, the product will help you get you to where you want to, that is not negotiable. Okay, so if you're charging low prices, okay, this is what used to happen to me, charging low prices used to bring me a certain type of clientele, and it's normally the ones what were not willing to put in the work, would generally give you a headache, were the ones what would actually not put in the work, because what they actually were paying for, they didn't see no value in actually what they were paying, so they would not put the work in. The guys what I tend to work with now, no problem over money, okay, actually putting the work what I ask them to do are not a headache, okay, and see value in what I'm actually doing, okay. Here's the other thing, if you're getting problem from people who don't want to pay you, guess what you do? Put yourself in a position and a place where people have got that type of money to pay you because believe you me they are actually out there what well, you've got to make sure that your product is actually in a place where they are willing to let go with their money because they know they have confidence in your knowledge okay have confidence in your experience and you may have a kind of um, trail of information which they're probably looking at and willing to buy into here's the other thing from an experience of um, a few months ago I went to a boxing show um, which was hosted in Derby and while they were having the inter interlude okay they were trying to sell some memorabilia okay bearing in mind that the charge of going into the show was £10 and the memorabilia was starting at like £200 actually none of the memorabilia actually got sold okay and I was trying to tell my girlfriend how come none of this memorabilia is not sold Bearing in mind some of the, the memorabilia what is being sold is from some real high-end ex-world champions. Okay? Now, equally to that, I also went to a show in Birmingham, okay, which was with Nigel Ben. Okay? Again, they had an interlude. Okay? Memorabilia was sold. Bearing in mind that we actually paid £80 to get into this um, one night with Nigel Ben. Okay? The memorabilia was on sale. The memorabilia was starting at £200. Okay, people were bidding, putting their hands up, till most of the memorabilia 
all of the memorabilia was sold. Okay, I think the highest bid for one thing went up to two thousand pound. Right now, I don't know if you get what I'm getting at here. It cost me eighty pounds to go into the Nigel Ben show. We were given food, dinner, okay, a picture with Nigel Ben, etc. Okay, the memorabilia at the interval was sold. Okay, they started at £200, £100, £300, depending on what it was. The memorabilia, who it was. But what I'm trying to say, the other show cost £10 to get in. Memorabilia was starting at £200. Guess what? The, none of the memorabilia was sold. Okay, now, I was telling my partner about it. And what it boiled down to, to me was the type of people what was attracted to the £10 show with the type of people what were not willing to spend money. The type of people what went to the £80 show, obviously were a different type of clientele who are willing to spend money, you know, whatever the position is, they might have a better job, they might, whatever it may be, I don't know what it may be, I can't put my finger on it, but obviously there was a different mindset to it, all right? So this is what I'm gonna bring forth to some of the trainers who may be listening and watching this, okay? If you're getting a lot of stress, and you're charging low for what you do, believe you me, you're gonna get stress. You're gonna get people who are not willing to put in the work. If you're charging a certain amount and you have systems in place where they may have to pay up front for the sessions, you know, where your, your, your costs for your sessions are not cheap, again, you may need to, you, you, you'll find that you're not gonna get that type of stress. Here's the other thing, if you're working with this type of clientele and are not willing to do what you wanna do, and you're not getting nowhere with them, market yourself to the people who have a different mindset around what you're doing and also around money also and around valuing what you're doing. It's as simple as that. Okay, who wants to spend a lifetime okay, of just stress through the clients not actually paying you what you're worth? You have to see value in what you're doing. Okay, it's a mindset. Change it if you're having problems. Okay, and make sure you put yourself in front of people who see value in what you actually do. Thank you for pressing play on the video. Have a great day. Bye for now.